five acres of hemp is gonna be all the way to the irrigator. A little tiny strip. From that corner to that corner and all the way down to those buildings. Here we are, <clears throat> day two of uh, setting hemp transplants. That's dad doing quality control. That's a soil probe over there measuring soil moisture. I'll talk about that some other time. Um, but we're running. We've got it on uh, GPS here and uh, keeping our rows nice and straight. Going just under a mile an hour. Off we go. Okay, here we are out in the hemp field, day 27 from germination. Uh, we set the transplants in the ground on day 24. And so they're just kind of coming out of seedling stage and started sort of entering that vegetative stage. So with this sunlight, we're expecting a nice uh, growth spurt here in the next couple days if we get some, some sun and some heat. It's been very wet here. Um, we set about 3,700 plants in the ground on Monday and then got rained out. So we're not done yet, but we got everything dialed in and we feel like the equipment's running good and we're, we're ready to go. We're just looking for some dry ground. So I'm out here today um, putting eyes and hands on every plant just to make sure that they're set and where they need to be, that they're standing upright, that there's not too much mud or uh, debris or, or, or other materials on the leaves that will photosynthesis. I guess I'll just talk a little bit about um, the experience we had planting it and kind of how that all went. Um, we used a four row Ellis tobacco setter, 98 cell trays that were about three and a half inches deep. Row spacing is 68 inches and we're dropping them 45 inches in the row so that's where we get come up to about 2,000 plants per acre. Uh, we selected that because uh, A, it interfaced well with the equipment we have on hand, um, and B, you just you really want to make sure that you give each plant enough room to spread out and really maximize uh, the potential of each plant. You don't want to overcrowd these. So uh, putting about a little, just a shade over 2,000 an acre. Um, <clears throat> we, um, we dissed down the clover and we spread a dry hemp topper blend, a 1300 with some micros in it, uh, <clears throat> right on top of that clover before we, we terminated it. Uh, then we terminated it and let it sit for a week, let the soil get nice and mellow. Um, the rain kind of incorporated everything and, and uh, it finally dried off enough that we were able to bring a rotivator out and actually we rotivated the five acres just so that we had garden quality conditions. Um, we don't have that today because we got a pretty good rain and it's a little sticky, but that's what we did. Um, it was a little bit wet to plant, but again, we just made the decision that we had to get some in the ground and I think we made the right decision. The rain really saved us, so actually, um, once they were in the ground, it, it, I think a good shower actually kind of evened things out. Um, really helped us in sealing up that trench and uh, making sure that we, you know, had a good stand so um, just out here inspecting them making sure that uh, everything looks good which I, I think it does so far um, you can see some of the clover is coming back that's not too much of a concern for us really I don't think it's going to compete <clears throat> that much um, it might even fixate a little nitrogen in season but just with the weather conditions we've had it, it, it's just it's very difficult uh, to, to terminate all of it so Hopefully we'll get most of it when we cultivate, um, but again, I, I don't really think that it's hurting much, and I, I kind of suspect that um, someday I, I might even be no-tilling or, or planting this uh, plant right into clover or alfalfa uh, as a management strategy, so we'll see where that goes. But for this year, it's a little bit of a nuisance, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, we've set the transplants down uh, after the hemp topper uh, was in. Um, we set the transplants down and put five gallons of CX1, five gallons of TerraFed um, in furrow, uh, five gallons per acre, excuse me. And uh, that's it. We're gonna 
lay some drip tape. I'll have a video on that when that comes, but for now, we're just relying on Mother Nature for water. This is a pretty sandy farm, so we're hoping that, uh, uh, you know, it, 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 the moisture um, is enough. So far, it's, it's been plenty, too much for most crops, but actually here on this lighter farm, it's for the crops that are in the ground, it's, it's kind of close to ideal. So um, I'm just gonna go out today, walk around the field, get eyes on every plant, make sure everything's you know sitting sitting straight up and isn't pinched or under a clot of dirt or anything like that and uh, we'll see how it looks